when we look at movement, especially towards a child, we look at the successful action, meaning if I throw a ball to you, it goes into the can. That's where the success is. We don't look at where movement comes from, you know, of how the, the child is coming over the pelvis, how they are balancing and counterbalancing, why they're thrusting the ball out, what, you know, so if they are counterposing, if they're coming back, you know, that's where, again, are they not being successful? Or does the movement is not able to go through their system? Um, they can have uh, genetic or disorders, let's say, and where someone's really started to skew that your child due to a low tone, let's say, uh, any of the muscular dystrophy families come into play, where they won't be able to progress. But I have found as long as you have balance and counterbalance, you know, a little old lady doesn't have the core strength technically that they have, but they still can go by bread. So to use those same kind of movement qualities um, in a child to start helping them progress into certain situation, whether it is to throw a ball into the can um, or to do something else that is functional. But I look at the functional movement and the quality of the movement that way.